If you think of the Cuban art, and I'm thinking of uh, not, not the, so much the colonial art, which is very much in, very interesting in itself, but you think of the art when Cuba essentially gets a form of independence in uh, the beginning of the 1900s. And there we see them developing a specific art culture of their own, um, which a lot of us don't really know a lot about. Uh, but once you begin to look at it, you realize that this is an incredibly rich artistic cultural country and we look at that right up to contemporary art we go to the contemporary art institute there we go to artist studios to look at their work and talk about how it is to be a contemporary radical questioning artist within a one-party state uh, which is very interesting it is a time to go to cuba cuba is this unique place that sort of uh, demonstrates how a socialist society can work within the modern period. It's also a very beautiful country. We go to the Eskenbrai Mountains, the most beautiful mountains, uh, which have already we've been looking at as being represented in 19th century and 20th century uh, landscape painting. Uh, we go there when we go to Trinidad. Very, very beautiful physically as well, yeah. The kind of people who come to this are obviously from a mixed range of uh, walks of life. But I think what brings them together is that there's a very definite sense of curiosity. Energy of participation is something, for me, really stands out.